Hello, I am Hajar, a student at the Department of English Language and Literature at the University of Bahrain. Welcome to our advanced grammar series. In this video, we're going to explain what are equatives, comparatives, and superlatives, and how we can form, the, form them in a sentence. By the end of this video, you will have a clear idea about how to use each of them. In this video, we will discuss what equatives, comparatives, and superlatives are along with some examples. Then, you will have a short quiz to test yourself. Let's start with equatives. Equatives are marked by as and as or not as and as. We use adjectives and adverbs in equatives to state that a person or a thing or an action is similar or not to another in some way. To make it more clear, let's see the examples. Dan is as tall as John. Kevin is not as brave as Mike. This copy is as bad as the other one. Silver is not as heavy as gold. The team, the team played as hard as they could. Water doesn't cost as much as alcohol. We can use focus adverbs such as just, only, and even before equatives as we can see in the examples. Our exam was just as hard as rocket science. The beach house is only as big as a cottage. He is not even as intelligent as the other students. Sometimes we use another form for the negative which is not so as. For example, today is not so hot as yesterday. Toyota is not so expensive as Mercedes. Next, we have comparatives. For comparatives, we change adverbs and adjectives to say that a person, a thing, or an action has more or less quality than another. We put more or less before long forms such as expensive will be more expensive or less expensive but not expensiver or beautiful will be more beautiful less beautiful but not beautifuler while for the short forms we put the suffix er at the end of the form like big bigger small smaller short shorter tall taller healthy healthier pretty prettier so how would we see this in a sentence? We have examples for long forms like German cars are more expensive than American cars. Buses are less expensive than trains in London. And short forms will be like fruits are healthier than chocolate. Dan is taller than his sister. Some adjectives like friendly or quiet could be used with both forms, long form and short form. For example, this morning is more quiet than yesterday, or we can say this morning is quieter than yesterday morning. Mary's family are more friendly than they used to be, or we can say Mary's family are fr friendlier than they used to be. Other include clever, common, crazy, likely, lonely, narrow, simple, untidy, and yellow. 
we use special forms for the comparative of good well which is better and bad badly which is worse john plays tennis better than jack does i did worse on the test than Bart did. Moving on to the comparative further and farther from the word far. We use further for distance and, we, and when we mean additional. For example, we can't go any further, the road's blocked. Or we can say, we can't go any farther, the road's blocked. I can't give you any further details. Our client's information are top secrets. While we use farther only for distance, he could see a small boat on the farther shore. We can use comparative forms repeated with and to emphasize that something is increasing or decreasing. For example, the balloon got bigger and bigger and then pursed. Things are getting more and more expensive. The class is being less and less interesting. While we use the form of the plus a comparative and the plus a comparative in the same sentence to say that one development is connected to another. The more adventure it is, the more I like it. The older we grow, the wiser we become. Where should I start? The sooner the better. Finally, we have superlatives. We can use adjectives and ad adverbs to say that people or things or actions have the most or least of a quality. We put the most or the least before long forms. For example, difficult will be the most difficult and the least difficult not the difficultest. Also, exciting will be the most exciting or the least exciting but not the exciting guest. While for short forms we only add the est suffix to the form, for example, big will be the biggest, small the smallest, short the shortest, tall the tallest, healthy the healthiest, pretty, the prettiest. How would we see this in a sentence? We have examples for long forms like that was the most difficult test of all our tests. That film was the least exciting thing I've seen for ages. While we use short forms and my house is the largest one in our neighborhood. This accident is the least of our problems. We use special forms for the superlative of good and well, which is the best, and bad and badly, which is the worst. She is the best seamstress in Houston. That would be the worst of the options. Moving to the superlative furthest and farthest f from the word far. We use furthest for distance and when we mean additional. The furthest north, Kauai, is the oldest island or the farthest north Kauai is the oldest island. If you have a credit card, remember that money is the furthest from free. While farthest is only used for distance, who can jump the farthest? 
Now we have superlatives with prepositions. After superlatives, we use the preposition in or on, but not of, before singular words of groups or places. For example, Greenland is the largest island in the world. Mary is the fastest player in the team. I am the happiest person on earth. While we use the preposition of before plurals and time periods such as year, month, or week. For example, Mary is the fastest tennis player of them all. Friday is the best day of the week. Now we come to the end of our lesson where you have a short quiz. Find the right answers in 15 seconds. Note that there, there can be more than one correct answer. Now we have reached to the real end of the lesson. Thank you all for watching and good luck.